You know how on every Dying Light 2 video I always talk about that I want more content in the game? Because recently we found out that Teclan has filed a new trademark called Dying Light the Beast. And that could be that we might be getting a new game, might be a new DLC. But hey, let's talk about it. Oh, this is back again? What's up guys, my name's Jonathan and welcome back to some more Dying Light 2. And for today's video, we're gonna sit back and relax and just continue off with the campaign and just talk about this whole rumor about like Techland doing this whole trademark on this new expansion pack, whatever it's gonna be called. And also talk about the ideas that I want for the future of Dying Light 2 and whatever else comes up because I have no idea what I'm gonna talk about, but you know what, it's A-OK. -okay. So yep, let's get into it. <laughs> Alright, so what we know about Techland is that they filed a new trademark called Dying Light the Beast. And this gets me thinking of, oh, is this going to be an expansion? Is this going to be a new game? Or something completely different? There's so many ideas of what I want for the future of Dying Light's new DLC, expansion, whatever you want to call it. Because for me, I would like to have more in-depth on the zombies, more weapons, and just more of an open world to explore Villador. To really have an understanding of what really happened with the outbreak when it started. Well, again. And it also would be really cool to see, like, vehicles in the game as well. I know a lot of people would go, oh, that would make no sense at all. We look at the mission with Tolga and Fatin of them doing time traveling and all of that. It makes no sense, but it just works. Because this whole trademark could lead up to something different because there was also videos of people talking about how Teglin's going to Gamescom to announce something brand new. Because you can see developers, music designers, etc. talking about it on social media. I'll put up an example. And this really gets you wondering about, is this going to be a new new game or something completely different? It's out of like, wow, like what the heck going on? But how about all of you? What do you think this is going to be about? Is this going to be a new game, a new expansion pack? Let me know down in the comments down below. And hey, let me know about your ideas, what you want for the future of Dying Light 2, especially for the new DLC. Because, mate, we have so many ideas, but of course, uh, yeah, the problem is that Techland don't really want to listen to half of us half the time, but you know what? Good enough for me. But I think that's the issue as well, because every time when Techland do upload on their social medias, the community always says, where's DLC 2? Where's DLC 2? And I think it's gone to the point now that Techland have realized that, yeah, we need to release something before it's too late. Yeah, let's just say that this recording has been an absolute disaster because it's my third time trying to record this because I accidentally deleted the file. So hopefully you enjoyed the second part because this one didn't get deleted. Oh my God. <laughs> I think the whole reason that I'm talking about this is because I saw this one YouTuber called Zomfected Gaming 349 and he was talking about Dying Light 2 Story DLC 2 reveal at Gamescom 2024 and he was talking about how he uh, wants Techland to announce the, the name of the new DLC instead of calling it DLC 2 because it does get pretty annoying after a while of just calling it Story DLC 2 all the time but if like Techland give us idea of what the name is going to be next then we can go okay no problem so they can just take their time getting the DLC ready and we can just go, yep, no worries. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't want Techland to rush the DLC. God, no. I just want them to announce it. That's all I want. I would rather let them take their time instead of freaking or let them release a freaking broken ass game. Hey, if you want to see that video, I will strongly recommend to watch that video because it's actually quite a good video to watch, to be honest. So you guys want to check that out, it's in the description down below. Hello? Hi. <laughs> Well, I can understand why the community is getting pretty pissed off because Techland have been so quiet on basically everything and, uh, and so many people are just so fed up on the way that Techland are like, yeah, we're not going to say anything, but we do have something cooking in behind the scenes, which I do hope for the best for them, don't get me wrong. But it does get pretty annoying after a while when you sit here and talk to a freaking brick wall or nothing and just go, man, I can't wait for this to come out when there's been nothing about it. Like, there's so many things that they can add into the game. Well, I mean, we can just keep talking about it and be like a freaking brick wall half the time. Ah, oh, man, the only problem is about this freaking game is you always gotta teleport everywhere because this game doesn't really seem to go you know what John have a good time and go underground that you gotta think of teleport everywhere and mate it was so funny because I did see this one comment the other night when I put down my top five favorite games to play and I think the comment's been deleted or something I don't know what happened to it but he was complaining about I didn't put down like one and two in my top five favorite games to play I'm like Dying Light one and two is my top ten not my top five even though you do see a lot of content on Dying Light two on my channel it's not overall like my favorite game 
game of all time, if that makes any sense at all. Like, yeah, I'll still play Dying Light 2, but those top five games had so many good memories for me that I just like, yeah, Dying Light 2 is very different. I still can't believe I'm playing Dying Light 2 after Blade 2 years. And it's so funny looking at one of my Dying Light 2 videos on you should play Dying Light 2 in 2024. And a lot of the comments of people got pretty pissed off at me because it was just me repeating myself over and over again. A lot of people were like saying, you need to have a script in your videos. I'm like, I understand where people are coming from, but I'm not a proper channel of giving news and everything. I'm just a cut commentary channel. But don't get me wrong, I understand why a lot of people got pissed off with that. But I mean, it was the easiest way to understand who's actually watching the bloody video. I do know it's a learning process. I always repeat myself over and over again, which is not my fault. And half the time when I do look at the editing, I'm like, why did I say that? But for me, it's a learning process. It's got to get better down the track. So no wonder why I have to cut out so many of the well, clips because it's all just rinse and repeat over and over again. I know there's so many ways that I can continue off with Dying Light 2. But the only problem is, is like once you get everything done on Dying Light 2 and there's so much that you can really talk about with the game, making content on it is getting much more harder. But don't get me wrong, I'll still keep making the content on Dying Light 2. I just don't want to upload it all the time over and over again. It's why you see me play other games time to time because I do play other games besides freaking Dying Light 2. You know what? I can't complain about that. Anyway, it's gonna meet Veronica at the freaking damn. But damn, I really do wish that Techland did like a prequel of Dying Light 1 or 2. Or even like what happened after Dying Light 1. I know they talked about at the beginning of before you actually log into Dying Light 2. But I really wish that we can have a proper story of it. I mean, we have so many ideas that we can talk about with the new expansion pack or DLC, whatever it's called. Don't you see why I'm trying to say that they should announce a teaser? But you know what? We'll just wait and see what they're going to be cooking up when they do announce something. How do they survive in there? I like how they go, oh, use your UV flashlight. And I'm like, yeah, I got a freaking baseball bat for the win, boy. Yep, see you later. Oh, that is beautiful. God damn, the gore is getting better and better every time I play this, man. I'll give Techland credit, man, because they actually are trying to fix their game first before announcing anything, basically. But it is getting quite annoying how we haven't been told anything, like, at all. It's just so quiet. Hallelujah! Who ever thought that this was going to be a really hard time to kill zombies? Ah! Well, everybody, that is going to be the video for today. So what do we know about everything that has led up to this? Well, basically, as what we know is that there is a new trademark and we're just going to wait and see what Techland is going to announce at Gamescom. And hopefully it's going to be something different or even an expansion pack for Dying Light 2. I know there's not really a lot to talk about because it's only just the trademark. Like, we could be talking about, well, basically anything. But hopefully when they do announce something like what I said earlier, we can start talking about it more and more if they do a teaser or whatever the case may be. But once again, what do you think about this? Is this going to be a new game, new expansion, or completely something just different that we don't know of? Hey, let me know. But anyways, everybody, make sure you subscribe because we're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. I'm also sorry that the video is all over the place, like what I said earlier. This whole video has been absolutely upside down, McGee. But once we get more news about this whole trademarking stuff, then hey, we'll be able to talk about it more. But anyways, everybody, I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care of yourself, and I'll talk to you all later. Ah!